नमस्ते लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई वाज टॉकिंग अबाउट द प्रकृति एंड पुरुषा कामेश्वरा एंड कामेश्वरी शिवा एंड शक्ति स्वरूपा इन क्रॉस रेफरेंस टू अग्नि तत्व Now let's go much further as to how exactly this is having that relationship to shastras or the natya shastra as a whole. Very interestingly, in Rig Veda, the nine Agni Sutras wherein. the nine shlokas that are pertaining to the agni tatva which were talking about talks about the shilpa shastra or shilpi now the point over here is why there is that uh, agni aspect coming into picture at first place and secondly why it is compared to prakriti and purusha and thirdly why are we talking about shilpi or shilpa shastra out of my experience i have traveled to many of the temples in south specifically madurai madurai meenakshi kanchi kamakshi then tiruvannamalai and then did giri pradakshina and then had a closer look at chidambaram all of this what i have understood out of my experience or out of my meditational practice or from the yogic practice this agni tatva so called agni who is considered to be one of the jata veda or one of the primal source or the primordial element for that energy source to come when it comes to shastras now as the human existence evolved by and large this human body is considered to be one of the sculpture in reference understand this ladies and gentlemen this is where actually this is one reason why everybody will go to a temple and do this anjali namaskara think about it the so called sculpture which we see in temples these sculptures has that you know directly or indirectly those powers or that kind of positive energy deep within even when performing rudra homa or yagyas or whatever god you you take into consideration we think about that distinct image that form image at first the primary step is understanding that formless nature of all of this aspects formless nature of agni or jata veda formless nature of shiva formless nature of shakti formless nature of 
Parameshwara and Parameshwari, formless nature of Kameshwara and Kameshwari. Now, the point is, what is that connection of this understanding of Shilpa Shastra? In Rig Veda, very interestingly, it says that one who he is having that kind of intuition using that drashta aspect drashta in the sense with all that yogic powers he creates that intuition deep within he or she creates that he creates that deep within and thus creates that sculpture. Now what is happening over here? It is the divine force, unseen divine force, which exists in feeble, it's feeble, very much feeble. That is one reason why to my perception, Shilpa Shastra has that practical importance to this. If we really look at Nataraja Swarupa, that is again a Shilpa which has all the ingredients imbibed in it. Understand this, ladies and gentlemen. It has the Shilpa Shastra aspect, it has Vastu Shastra aspect, it has Agni Tattva aspect as well, that energy source. In short and simple, the point over here is The very existence of human body or that human mankind is again is related to this Shilpa Shastra as a whole, holistically. From the Vedas and Upanishads point of view. Shilpa Shastra is considered to be one of the Upavedas. Very interesting. This is a strong uh, point where scientists in medical field and the science field who are doing research in the field of consciousness awareness or that consciousness or the Supreme Consciousness, Awareness, Bliss. Gives you that idea. All the answers are there itself. Though, this is directly or indirectly connected to Ajurveda. Yajurvedat Natyam Now, Shilpa Shastra is a part of Yajurveda and from the spiritual point of view Adi, Adi Bhautika, Adi Daivika, Adhyatmika These are the three aspects wherein an individual needs to understand this human existence. This Natya Shastra or Shastra, again, as per Rig Veda, if we really go by, this Shilpa Shastra plays a major role. If one understands this Shilpa Shastra aspect, it would be more easier for 
performer to understand that adi bhautika adi daivika adhyatmika aspect or that shilpi's view point understand this even these karnas those they, they say it as a it is for stylizing the dance form or whatever it is i would say it's based on the shilpa shastra think about it ladies and gentlemen the shilpi or the shilpa the one who sculpt one who creates that god as a sculpture should have that intuition deep within that is where the connection happens how does that connection happens again agni tattva that fire that energy i would rather say to my perception a dancer or one who learns classical dance is a shilpi himself or herself because they are depicting that god or goddess during their enactment this is the practical importance of shilpa shilpa or shilpi or shilpa shastra and this is where natya shastra holds the key think about it ladies and gentlemen from the view point of research i would further talk about this in my further videos so let me stop the subject over here till then stay blessed have a blissful life and it has to be experienced by that experience sir ladies and gentlemen it is more or less talking about i me and myself again thus i stop this video to this point just think about it on whatever pointers that i talked about maybe it could give more light to the people stay blessed have blissful life may the guru's grace be with all have a nice day ahead as a part of request if you like this video if you understood if you have understood or if you have you know if you are having that impression that it is making some sense please do like share it with one and all let them also have this supreme bliss knowledge and if possible please subscribe my channel and i do works on various concepts i do videos i do editing works i do write articles i do write on the subjective and objective part of uh, way on various domains please help me out in getting those projects in case if you have it's a humble request and please if possible for the universities or colleges or the professors or the you know assistant professors 
प्लीज प्लीज गिव दैट बिट ऑफ एंकरेजमेंट और गिव दैट बिट ऑफ एटेंशन फॉर द नॉन परफॉर्मर्स एज वेल दे डू हैव दैट मेंटल एबिलिटी टू एक्सप्लेन दीज कॉन्सेप्ट इफ वन ऑपरचुनिटी इज गिवेन टू दे दे मे प्रूव एंड दे विल प्रूव दैट पॉइंट होपिंग दैट व्यूअर्स across the globe will understand this thanks again stay blessed have blissful life may the guru's grace be with all have a nice day ahead